Another tip for buying software for your marketing team would be to prove ROI. Get your return on investment and prove it from the beginning. And when I say return on investment, I mean, if it needs to be hardcore numbers that you're showing, more of an analytical person that does well with numbers, fine, show them the savings. We do that a lot of times with how much time we're gonna save them, how much they're paid, what their average salary is. We're sure, we have those calculations of how we're saving companies money. That's a hard ROI metric. There's also soft metrics. You've got a list of those. Hey, we, you know, things you're not considering that you can't really quantify, but are certainly quality reasons to bring a piece of software up. So a big part of what you're doing should have ROI in mind. And honestly, it should match up to that list of why you're doing it. So those benefits and metrics make up why you're doing this to begin with and how you're gonna define success. So if you're focusing on the price to buy software, don't just go for the thing that's the cheapest. You know, you might end up getting what you pay for. Really focus on how much it's saving you because think about it. If you're trying to find software for as cheap as possible, but it actually makes a $500,000 impact on your company, why are you looking for software that's $10 a month, which might not be the right solution and you're missing out on the fact that you could buy something that maybe is a little bit more but ends up solving massive business needs and problems and saves money in the long run. And again, always check back regularly on this stuff. How is it working? Is it contributing to the bottom line? Always make the case back for the return on investment because that's just gonna make you more valuable in the long run as a company and an individual.